All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Wadash for the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the men of the Lord, preaching and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Uh, you can see the article here. It says, U.S. bombs Syria and, and ridiculously claims self defense. All right, and now we know this is part of Esau. Edom's MO, and it has been going all the way back to he conquering the land uh, with Gad and Reuben, even to this day, claiming them, labeling them as savages, uh, uh, talking about them like they were these these major aggressors, and 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 all the while they were the aggressors the entire time from 19, from 1776 they went from the 13 colonies all the way with just in 75 years in 1850. All right, California was a territory of the United States. So 3,000 miles across in 75 years, you have to think about that. But even to this day, he'll claim he was defending himself from Gad, from, from Reuben. All right, so this is par for the course for this devil, especially this devil you see on the screen here. Uh, Joe Biden, let's read some of this. Uh, Lord willing, I won't make this too long, but... Uh, this is a sign that World War Three is it, this could this could pop off any moment, man. You know, <clears throat> so can this mark of the beast prophecy, and we're praying for it. All right, it says on orders of President Biden and the United States uh, has launched an airstrike on the facility in Syria. As of this writing, the exact number killed uh, and injured is unknown, with reports claiming. A handful of people were killed and we know that's usually bullshit because if it was a handful they would have just released the number you know it says rather than doing so rather than doing anything remotely resembling journalism the Western mass media have opted instead to uncritically repeat what they have been told about the airstrike by US officials uh, and that and that's true because the the media is basically just a mouthpiece for Esau Edom, for these these major families, these uh, Rockefeller Rothschilds, they they do whatever the narrative is. All right, they're not they're not journalists. They're not there to tell you the truth from right from wrong. And we know this because just so much as disagreeing with them, not agreeing with certain organizations like the World Health Organization, or not agreeing with the mainstream view, it can get you banned on many platforms. All right, you know, just just going against whatever they're saying. You know, you got something called fact checkers, and they de they decide basically a group of Edomites decide in a room what is true, what is acceptable to be true, and what's not. All right, so this is how you know the media is just a just a arm of of, of the devil to push propaganda. All right, now this is uh, Psalms one forty. Uh, I'm gonna start at one. It says, "Deliver me, O Lord Jehovah, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man." Uh, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. And this is why Biden went over there because he knew he was going to get the media to spin it or cover it up. All right. Or he's going to make a pitch. He's going to try to convince the nation just like they did in Iraq. Oh, they, they have WMDs or weapons of mass destruction. And that's why we need to go over there. We found, we found yellow cake uranium and, and none of it was true, but it didn't stop them from going over there and completely ripping that country apart man all right they're still over there <laughs> they still got troops over there you know they've taken oil they've they've set up uh these bullshit quasi governments all right it says they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent all right and that's the media because if you go against this they'll label you they'll put a category on you all right, at this, as it's written, the accuser of our brethren. All right, I'll get that real quick. Actually, uh, the, it says adder's poison is under their lips, and an adder is a is a very poisonous snake. So you can't listen <laughs> to stuff like, "Oh, a handful of people were killed." Now, if it comes out, somebody else reports it, like, "Oh, it was three hundred people killed." What they'll do is that they'll just cover it up. They'll just act like it didn't. They never said this. We never said a handful. Someone else that we didn't condone reported a handful. 
you know that that's how they work you know revelation 12 and 10 it says and i heard a loud voice in heaven now has come salvation and strength the kingdom of our power and the power of the mashiach for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night all right so this is who we're dealing with, you know, when Esau was cast down. All right, so let's read a little bit more of this. <coughs> Forgive me, I'm still getting over a, uh, a sm small sickness. Uh, all right. Let's see. It says, rather than doing anything remotely resembling journalism, the West media have opted instead to uncritically repeat what they've been told about the airstrike by U.S. officials, which they're going to lie. They're never going to tell you the truth, uh, which is the same as just publishing Pentagon press releases. <laughs> so they're not journalists, man. They're lazy. They don't do any work. They don't care to because they get paid to do the opposite. They get paid to misinform you. It says, so we are being told that the United States launched an airstrike on Syria. A nation it invaded and is illegally occupying, right? Because of attacks on U.S. locations in Iraq, another lo another nation the U.S. invaded and is illegally occupying. All right, so you see you see where they are and what they're doing. They're 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 not supposed to be there to begin with, but when someone attacks them for being there, they claim self defense. That this is exactly what happened in North America. They, they showed up here. They weren't supposed to be here. All right. They start taking land, killing people, spreading disease, you know, and, and then they claim self-defense when they weren't supposed to be here to begin with. They didn't pay for any land here. But this is all going to culminate into World War Three. You'll see in a second. Um, let's see. This attack is justified on the basis that the Iraqi fighters were iranian link so they could that's just nonsense man you know they they really don't have a way of proving that you know they they'll have something called intel but any nigga off the street can be uh can be an informant can be can provide you quote unquote intel and see they they establish whether or not it's credible or not see there's all types of intel quote unquote saying all types of madness but see they are the ones that decide whether or not it's credible whether or not it's actionable intelligence all right and that's what they don't tell you this intel is credible this intel is not they had they had intel on uh 9 11 according to them all right but but see they didn't want it to be credible because they they wanted to use this you know they wanted to go to war man all to ultimately and it's evident of that because we're still in Afghanistan 20 years later. We still got troops in Iraq. We still, we're in Syria now. We, we've, we're in Yemen. We're in, we've been in Somalia. All right. <laughs> this is, uh, when I say we, I'm talking about America. Now, we're, I'm not a part of that. The, the, the real men of the Lord aren't a part of this. So, so lucky for that. All right, let me move down to the main part. Yes, yeah, this whole article is pretty good. This says, uh, this here says, this is also very typical of the American supremacist worldview that is being aggressively shoved down our throats by all Western mainstream news media. All right, and that's true because America is an empire. And these other nations are tired of it, man. It's going to go down, man. You can't just keep doing this to these other nations. Then they're just going to lay there, you know? It says the U.S. can bomb who it likes whenever it likes. And when it does, it is only ever doing so in self-defense. Because the entire planet is the property of Washington, D.C. <laughs> it, it can seize control of entire clusters of nations. And if any of those nations resist in any way they are invading america's sovereignty so you see how that works that's crazy bro 
It says, it's like if you broke into your neighbor's house to rob him, killed him when he tried to stop you and then claim self-defense because you consider his home your property. Only in the American exceptionalist alternate universe is this considered normal and acceptable. While you're dealing with the devil, Esau, Edom, and see these other nations are getting tired of it. Even other Edomites are getting tired of this shit. This sort of nonsense is why it's so important to prioritize that position to Western imperialism. The world warmongering and domination is the front upon which all the most egregious evils inflicted by the powerful take place. All right. And this is going to culminate into the Valley of Decision, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh, and it plays such a crucial role in upholding the power structures we are up against. All right. Let me get, uh, we got, we got that. Hold on. Let's get Ezekiel 38. Uh, I started at one. It says, And the word of the Lord Jehovah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And that's in the land of, of Russia, Turkey, in that area. All right, East, Eastern Europe, basically. You know, you have you have Ukraine, you have uh, all those Baltic states, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, uh, Belarus. And uh, it says, and say thus, say it the Lord, how our power, behold, I am against the O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, so the Most High is against you too. None of you nations are are uh, are in the good graces of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. As a matter of fact, two thirds of Israelites are not in the good graces of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is a time of correction and judgment. All right. It says in uh, verse four, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. Alright, so the Most High is going to put the spirit on all of you nations in the Middle East. From Russia all the way down to, to, to uh, the Middle Eastern states, Syria, Iraq, Iran. Alright, all of those stands over there, Uzbekistan. Alright, Turkmenistan. All right. It says, uh, verse five, it tells you Persia. Persia is modern day Iran. All right. Ethiopia and Libya with them. All right. Because Libya has been, has been uh, completely ruined, man. <laughs> There's slave trades going on through there right now because of why? Because of what Esau Edom did. You know, when, when Hillary Clinton ran through there, her and Obama, and they killed uh, Gaddafi because he wouldn't bow down to the U.S. dollar. And now look at Libya. And, and these nations haven't forgotten. It says all of them which with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands. All right. Now, Gomer is a son of uh, of uh, Japheth. All right. So that's that's over in the area of, of, of Greece uh, by, by uh, Romania. You know, if you go up north. Not far from, from Bulgaria and, and Poland and all of that, that whole land area. It says, uh, Be thou prepared and prepare thyself. Thou and all thy company are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. It says, After many days thou shalt be visited in the latter years. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people. All right. And that's, this is talking about that, that area, man, you know, by the Euphrates. The Euphrates goes all the way from uh, from uh, Iraq, you know, passing up by Syria, going into Turkey. And, and there's a lot of nations around that. Iran is in, in that area. Israel is in that area. Saudi Arabia is in that area. All right. Um... Like you, it was a uh, 
Let's see. Uh, it says, and it's gathered together out of many people against the mountains of Israel. All right. And a lot of the mountains in, in our land is in the northern part of our land by Megiddo in that area. And Megiddo was a very heavy battle place because of the mountainous terrain. There were certain ways you, you, you couldn't cross over certain mountain paths. So you could fight in certain valleys and areas out there. And Megiddo was one of those uh, areas when we would fight against armies from the north. Um, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely all of them thou shalt ascend and come like a storm thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land thou and all thy bands and many people with thee so this is talking about war man over there in the middle east all right this is prophesied to happen and this could be biden's over there bombing the shit out of people again again after they killed that general in iran they, they're pissed man you think they're just gonna let this shit ride More proof here. This is uh, Revelation 20. I'm going to start at 7. It says, and when the thousand years are expired, all right, and a thousand years are, are, are when Jake was ruling in the dark ages, all right, this is going going up from around, right around the time when Rome got sacked in 400 AD till about uh, the 1400s um, when, uh, when the Renaissance era, era started to come back online, all right? And, and by 1492, what was he doing? He was he was back in power over here, taking taking shit over again. It says, "Uh, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth." All right. So he didn't go to the four quarters of the earth before this. All right. He was still relegated to Europe, maybe England. All right. But see, after this, he came to the West. All right. He took over uh, uh, North and South America. All right. And now those those two continents only speak four languages, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese. All right. So this is how we know who this is talking about. Which which of these who who is Satan here, <laughs> you know? He shall go out and deceive the nations. How did he deceive them with Christianity? It says, which are in the four quarters of the earth. See, see, Muslims didn't make it over to the west of America. Christianity is the only thing that went to the four corners. All right. There's Christians in China. There, there are Christian. Uh, there are, like the Philippines are a very heavy Christian nation. The Australians are a Christian, a very heavy Christian nation. All right. South America is a very Christian nation. North America is a Christian, uh, or Christian, there are Christian nations there, you know, Europe. All right. See, the, the Muslims are ba ba basically relegated to North Africa and the Middle East. Maybe if you go down into India, in the India, you, you get, you, you'll get some Muslims and stuff there, but that's not the four corners. What other religion what other deception has been spread to the four corners of the earth look at the papacy the pope the catholic church what's the most powerful and richest religion uh, religious structure it's them it's the devil that the false prophet spoken about uh elsewhere in revelation all right it says god can make god let me read verse eight again and and shall Go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. All right, so there's going to be a whole lot of heathen out there ready to do battle, okay? It says, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city, all right? And fire came down from the most high out of heaven and devoured them. All right. Now, this goes uh, back into America is going to be uh, devoured by fire. And so is the land of Israel. All right. They're going to be they're going to be completely wiped out.
It says, uh, verse 10, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, all right, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever, all right? So it's, that's clear. We're in those times. When you see Gog and Magog here, all right, when you see uh, Gog and Magog in Ezekiel 38, when you read uh, Revelation 19 and 19, I'll read that real quick. It says, And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and the armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. All right. And who is him that sat on the horse? That's Yahweh Shai. And the horse represents power. He's going to roll in on a giant chariot. And Michael's going to be there. And, and, and it's going to be over for you nations, man. This this is this got to stop, man. You y'all up here bombing people and blaming it on the people that you bombed, <laughs> you know. Look, this is this is what Edomites are saying. Americans, two thousand dollar check, please. Government, sorry, did you say airstrikes on Syria? Americans, no, two thousand dollar checks. Government, okay, since you asked nicely, here's your airstrikes on Syria. So, <coughs> so lock you. Um. So th this, these are Edomites being facetious, all right, because they're tired of it. You you don't know how to rule a nation, man. You don't know how to rule the earth. You don't give a damn about the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. This is sad. Everybody's calling you out. You're being you're being discovered as as pursuing to, to Jeremiah. You know, you you've been made bare, Esau. Everyone sees what's going on, so y'all might as well just get it popping, man. You know? And Joe Biden is doing that. You know? Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechakudash. Because that's a fulfillment of prophecy, man. And uh, I'm ready to get out of here, man. You know? I'm tired of these shitty ass bodies. Like, I'm getting over a, a cold right now, you know, having to work, getting up every day, worrying about this and that, man. You know, women out of order. You gotta work your ass off to 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 to, to, to do basic shit, man. You know, with all the work that I put in, as much time, I, I should have a bunch of land, you know, a bunch of women. You know, when you work twenty years in a row, man, you're not you're supposed to come up. You ain't supposed to be living paycheck to paycheck. Like, oh, I can't take off. I can't take a vacation this week because that that's what you have to deal with. Constantly. This ain't this ain't the way things supposed to be run, man. There's no autonomy in this place. You know, you getting student loan debt, shit, you on the hook for 20 years if, if you ain't paid it off then, 30 years. You know, over some 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 bullshit that they quote unquote taught you. This this whole thing has got to go, man. Everything about it, 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 it defiles you, man. It defiles your mind. It, it makes you more susceptible to demons and, and illness. You know, everything's defiled, it's poison. People have, people have these upside down views of morality and what the right thing to do is. People are encouraged to do the wrong thing. They feel good about doing the wrong thing. Sickening, man. So, uh, hopefully with that, y'all brothers were edified. Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Shalom, Wa, Ba, Ba.